In this episode, I talked to a friend and a colleague of mine. He's a marketer. He's been that for like over seven plus uh, years. He has created the system um, that has transformed like more than 700 businesses. And I can't wait for you to hear about this tool that he has built and how it's changing lives and how it's really helping uh, small businesses. So stay tuned as we dive deeper into this session with my friend, Dan Gretsch. Hey, Dan. Welcome, man. It's great to have you uh, on the show, my good friend and uh, brother. And there's so many things you are to me. How are you, buddy? It's great to be here, Ricardo. Thank you. Sweet, sweet. Well, um, I'm excited to dive deep into some other conversation that we're going to have today. And uh, why don't we just start and talk about, tell us a little about who you are and uh, and what you do. Sure. Well, I am a former Pulitzer Prize winning journalist who has reinvented himself as a business storyteller and digital marketing educator. And what I've done is over the past seven years, I've taken all of my storytelling skills uh, and my expertise at taking something really complex Mm -hmm. and explaining it in a very simple way. And I've applied that to small business digital marketing. Nice, nice. So it's a nice little transition that you made um, and then you basically package that knowledge. Um, So how did you get to this point though? Like from a marketing standpoint, I know you said you've been um, in a specific space, but talk to me a little about the journey to get to here today. Absolutely. Well, First and foremost, when I lost my job in journalism and had to reinvent myself as a business storyteller, I figured I would go go to YouTube or take some Coursera course and learn digital marketing in a couple of weeks. And well, needless to say, it's way more complicated than that. Uh, Here I am seven years into that journey and I still learn things every day from people like you. And one of the things that I came to realize is that in the digital marketing space, Mm -hmm. folks overcomplicate the systems. And they do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's harder to make complicated things simple. And so they don't really know how to explain things in a simple way. And then second, a lot of digital marketers like keeping it complex because they think then you will hire them to do it for you. And what I have realized in my own learning journey as I've come to try to understand these concepts is that some of them are not that complicated and most of them can be implemented by a small business with the right coaching. And so that's what we've done is we've created BizHack Academy, which is dedicating to helping, dedicated to helping small business owners market themselves despite having a limited time budget and expertise right right so and that's pretty awesome um and you you take out the complex and the uh you know this sort of hard to understand components of digital marketing and and have broken it down and you've essentially built out a toolkit a system so tell us a little about this toolkit this system that you have put together what is it Um, and just kind of break it down, uh, break it down for listeners. Sure. So there are two elements to any process, right? There's the philosophy or the methodology or the system. And then there are the tools that you use to implement it. And Mm -hmm. so when I talk about what we call the biz hack lead building system, it has those two elements. It has the overall system philosophy approach to how you generate leads online. We call Mm -hmm. those the six pillars. And then there are the step-by-step instructions, the exercises, the software, and the tools that you use to Mm -hmm. implement that in your business. And those we call the nine steps. And then the foundation of it all is your business story the reason that your business, the core purpose of your business, your business is why. So you have the foundation, which is 
why your business does what it does, why you as an entrepreneur do what you do. The six pillars, which are your campaign's objective, your target audience, your irresistible offer, your thumb stopping video, your compelling messaging and your call to action. And every campaign you do, digital and non-digital has those six core elements. And then you have the nine step process for implementing it in your business. Nice, very nice. And, and uh, what were the, the, obviously from your experience, what were some of the things that you used to use then in terms of maybe systems that you've experienced or used in the past or toolkits? What were some of those things that you've used then um, as we kind of understand, help our listeners understand how different is it today than, 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 than years ago? Absolutely. So I actually have two books right here that I use all the time to run my business. One of them is called Traction uh -huh. and the other is called Scaling Up. Now, okay. each of these books are business systems. How do you run a business? Yeah. But they put very little time and attention to marketing. They just tell you like, you know, here's your marketing strategy on a page and go figure it out, hire an agency to do it for you. Well, I realized that this was a huge gap in these business systems. They taught you how to run a business, but they didn't tell you how to actually market it. Mm -hmm. And so what I have gone and done is I have built the system for marketing your business, just like these books build, talk about the system for running your business. And I gotta say, there, there are other systems out there. A great one is Russell Brunson's funnel, uh, right. marketing funnels system. It's one of, the, um, one of the great examples of a marketing system. Another great example is HubSpot's inbound marketing system. Right. And each of them have built software to support the methodology. Yeah. However, neither of these systems is tailor built for small businesses, for micro budgets, for folks without time, money, or expertise. And so what I have done is I built a competing system, a system that is uh, aiming to get the same goal, which is to generate leads and sales for your business, but with a much simpler, easier to understand framework. Very nice. And so, so uh, as you've built this system and um, integrate these toolkits with them, like who is this for? Like who are the, uh, the most qualified beneficiary, if you may, for this, uh, this system that you've built? Yeah. So, you know, we look for a very specific kind of entrepreneur uh, mm -hmm. who, who we know will benefit most from our system. The kinds of organizations, the kinds of entrepreneurs that we work with, first and foremost, they're small. They have one to 50 employees. Their leaders are growth oriented and have an unquenchable desire to improve. They have a proven product market fit. So in other words, this is not necessarily for somebody at the idea stage of a startup. We wanna take businesses that have a great product, and that they know there's an audience for it, they just need to figure out how to reach that audience. We want mm -hmm. business owners who are more afraid of the status quo than change and are looking for simple, practical solutions. Nice, and so, so the, these folks, uh, you can essentially be anywhere to access this system. Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be in a specific uh, geospace, correct? Yeah, this, this is a system that is good for uh, B2B businesses, B2C businesses, B2G businesses. This works for product and service companies. This works for e-commerce companies. Frankly, this could work for a Fortune 500 company as well. So the idea is that this is a robust framework that reimagines you know, the four P's of marketing, classic marketing theory in a framework built for the digital age. So really another way to think about what we've done is we have taken the sort of tried and true way of teaching marketing uh, in MBAs everywhere. And we've 
applied it to a digital world, which has completely upended the way marketing happens. And we've created, a, frankly, a much simpler, easier to implement system than what has existed before this. Nice. Uh, so so I, I know you mentioned a little around some of the difference, but how is this system or, or this system different from um, the alternatives? Like where, where do folks go to get um, the, the options that are available out there for digital marketing? And how is this one that you've created different? Yeah, well, there, there are a lot of, there's a lot of information out there for the entrepreneur. A lot of it is free. Uh, and we encourage folks to take advantage of those free resources. Some of the biggest providers of that free training is Google and Facebook, uh, but it's a little bit of the, the fox in the hen house, right? Because what they're training you to do is to use their advertising solutions. Yeah. Um, then you have the software companies. That's the HubSpot, the uh, marketing funnels. These are folks who are really selling marketing solutions, software, and then they do the training as a form of educational marketing. And so they too are kind of biased. They're really building out training in support of, you know, the top of the funnel for their software sales. And then finally, the other big purveyor of training is um, marketing agencies who basically say, we have a system it's really freaking complicated and you should hire us to do it for you. Yeah. So, so those are the three big buckets of providers. They use training really as a form of content marketing. And BizHack is different in that our one and only purpose is to enable and empower business owners to market for themselves. And once a business owner is trained up in this and they have this kind of framework, they can then hire people, bring on an agency, train their contractors. They can basically implement this system in their business. And it is a robust and simple framework that they can use for all their marketing needs. Yeah. And that's pretty amazing. And well, I had, and I have to say folks that I've got, I've had a first-hand view and experience using uh, the system. Um, I participated with that and we've, we've been working together for a couple of years now, right? And uh, I'm pretty much just getting that uh, first-hand view um, and being able to help others to, to, to manage the system that Dan created. And I've got to tell you, it's unlike any system that I've seen. And the alternatives that are out there, it's very, very difficult to get the very same thing that he built over the years. So I really love that. And I really love the way you have packaged it um, and the toolkits that you've then just kind of just placed right in the middle of that system. So it's really nice. And you should, you know, we're going to talk a little now about sort of how do we then, if, if you're listening and you're in, interested in the system, what, what should our listeners need to do to be able to get access to this system? Is this a free system? Is this a freemium? Is this a paid? I know you do a lot of uh, uh, free, um, essentially, um, education and information to the community. I think in my mind, it's probably like the freemium way. It's kind of your way to kind of experience the system in different uh, uh, particles, if you may, and then you can then onboard into a paid version. But tell us a little more about um, how or what should we or listeners do to access this system that you have? Yeah. Well, at BizHack, we have an abundance mentality, which is there is more than enough work to go around for us digital marketers. And so we give a ton away for free, not because we want to kind of hook you into our, our, our uh, methodology. We want you to choose that because you want it, but because we believe it's our way of fulfilling our mission to transform the lives of small business owners everywhere. And so uh, a couple of the great places that you can access our material is um, I run a weekly live webinar series called BizHack Live. You can find out uh, about our upcoming events uh, at bizhack.live, that's B-I-Z-H-A-C-K dot L-I-V-E. Uh, that's every 
Wednesday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. We have amazing special guests, including you. You've been one of the featured guests uh, where we just talk about small business, digital marketing, best practices and tools. Mm -hmm. um, we also um, have a YouTube channel, uh, BizHack Academy on YouTube, where all of uh, our trainings and uh, past BizHacks uh, can be, uh, BizHack Lives can be found. And then finally, our signature offering is a five-week accelerated course uh, in implementing the BizHack lead building system. We have that coming up on April 5th and then another one in June. And I encourage you to apply for that. It's by application only. We strictly limit the number of participants um, and we have extraordinary marketing coaches and instructors who work on that program. I'm actually gonna be leading uh, the class uh, in April and uh, Ricardo, I'm happy to report, is gonna be one of our amazing marketing coaches uh, as he's been a number of uh, past sessions. So there, there are a lot of ways for you to interact with and, and, and learn the lead building system. We're in the process right now of building out uh, a full blog with information and case studies about it. And we will eventually publish a book as well. This podcast is sponsored by MeisterTask, the most intuitive task manager on the web. Uh, MeisterTask is an easy to use project management tool, makes it easy and fun and colorful to get all your projects managed in one place. As an entrepreneur, I use MeisterTask to help me manage all of my projects. Um, I can drag and drop different tasks. I can assign key people to the task. I can set deadlines and schedules and enjoy just beautiful colors while I do that. Uh, so uh, if you are interested in trying MeisterTask, go to MeisterTask.com slash DMT tools. That's M E I. S T E R T A S K dot com slash D M T tools, and you can sign up for a free trial when you upgrade to the pro plan. So get started for free today and um, invite um, your team members and get uh, and get productive together. Very nice, nice. I love it. And, and, you know, I know that staying in, in business uh, for years is not easy as entrepreneurs. Um, you know, how have you done it? Because uh, BizHack and the system you've created has been used by so many businesses. I think the last time we counted, it was well, well over maybe 700, but you can correct that. But uh, how have you been able to, to do this staying in, in business and do what you um, what 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 you've done, and what would you say was uh, the best uh, thing that you've learned over over these years? Yeah, you know the simple answer is I'm very clear on what my purpose is and why I'm doing this, and I refuse to let this business die. So, my core purpose is that I champion the underdog. So that, you can transform, uh, so that you can transform your life. So I have for my whole career, whether I was a journalist uh, or a kid who went to inner city Philadelphia where my mom was a teacher um, at the, some of the poorest public schools in Philadelphia, you know, my family has been all about championing the underdog so they can transform their lives. And so when I had a chance to start a business, uh, BizHack, that was my mission. I didn't wanna serve the Fortune 500 companies. They have plenty of help. What I wanted to serve was the small mom and pops, the family owned businesses, the folks that are struggling now, especially with COVID more than ever before. And because that mission is so crystal clear for me and because it's something that has been true of me in the past, the present and the future, it is essential to who I am. When the going gets tough, when my business was threatened, uh, by COVID and all the changes, I just refused to let it die. I kept pushing and I was able to transform the business over the last year and went from being within a few weeks of running out of money uh, in the immediate aftermath of COVID when everything shut down and all of my, you know, I had to cancel a lot of my courses that were in-person trainings 
I had to reinvent the course for online. I had to market it in a completely different way. Um, and all of that, you know, it's a lot of late nights, you know, waking up at four in the morning with your eyes like saucer plates, you're like ready to go. Um, yeah. But I just, I could not let you guys down. I could not let these businesses that needed me so much. And I'll, I'll be honest, the Black Lives Matter movement and the way that it unearthed systemic inequity uh, among black folks, of course, but more lar largely speaking about uh, under minorities and women owned businesses, uh, led us to open a scholarship program for minority and women led businesses that has given away more than $100,000 to date. And so, you know, I wake up every day with a mission, which is a mission to transform the lives of small business owners everywhere. And that mission is contagious. It's attracted incredible talent. It's attracted amazing clients. And it is going to take my little business uh, to the moon. And that's, a, that's so amazing. And because, you know, that's what this podcast is about as well. When I thought about what uh, exactly I could do for the minority owned businesses, the, 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 the businesses that are not the fortune 500, like you said, uh, the small business owners of startup that are not as tech savvy as, uh, as most of us or some of us are that are in the space, what could we do for them? And it's really about, Hey, you know, connecting you to people like Dan and the system that he he's built. Um, the system has been COVID proof, if you may, because the system has been around and COVID came in and it was tested and it came victorious. You know, he was able to transform even more. Now the system is even so much more robust, right? So even if you have another pandemic, which I hope we do not have, uh, even if you have another pandemic coming anytime soon, I, I, I personally believe that this system that you've created could stand the test of time. Um, and so if, if you're listening to this and your business is hurting and you're struggling, this is your opportunity to take a look at this system. We created this podcast to introduce you to tools, to systems that has worked, that's, that's helping others to be successful like yourself. And if you want to move your needle, like I always say, you want to go further, you want to transform, just take a look, like be curious about it, have an open mind. Let's put, uh, let's put the system to the test. I mean, this guy has done, uh, there are 700 plus businesses that have used this system. And I cannot name one or on, on my two hands, those who would have said like, this system does not work. I'm, and, I, I, and this is what uh, attracts us to bring folks like Dan um, and introduce his system on here. So I'm really, really glad that you came through to, to talk to us and give us some little education around the system. Is there anything Dan that uh, um, I didn't ask you that you'd like to share with us today? Yeah, you know, we ask only two things of people who want to implement the system, which is to show up and do the work. Yeah. If you show up and do the work, it will work for you. What we found is that some people want to get stronger, but they want to hire someone else to lift their weights for them. And it's just, that's not how you get stronger. You get stronger by rolling up your sleeves and doing it. So one of our core values is learn by doing. And what we have found is that if you are a modern 21st century business owner, you must have basic competency around digital marketing. It is not optional. Just like you need to know how to read a financial statement or yeah. recruit and hire someone. And very, very, very few business owners have digital marketing knowledge. Very few business owners are digital marketers. Uh, they are much more commonly the doers of the thing that the business does. So they're consultants or bakers of pies or uh, designers of clothes. And they say, I, you know, I don't want to work for anybody anymore. I want to have freedom. I want to make lots of money. I'm going to open a business. And what they end up doing is they realize that they are capped in terms of what they can grow by their friends and their family and their referrals. Yeah. And so if they want to grow faster or if they've tapped out their friends and family network, they have to begin marketing themselves to strangers. And that's really what the system is all about. How do you sell to strangers? Well, you have to follow a systematic process. And whether you choose BizHack's lead building system or another process, the 
one thing you should not do is throw spaghetti against the wall. And unfortunately, that's how most businesses market. They say, I'm going to do a post on Facebook or I'm going to run a live webinar on, on LinkedIn. And then they're like, but it didn't get great results. And they don't really understand why. Well, the reason why is because you're starting with the tool, with the tactic before you have a strategy. And so what we do is we have a comprehensive system that gives you the strategy, gives you the framework, and then tells you the tools that you can use to implement it for your business. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of like putting the carriage before the horse. And uh, that's always the wrong way to, to do it. I've never been uh, out uh, downtown in tourist area and see a carriage kind of moving before the horse. It's always the horse first. So uh, that's some good lessons there. Um, remind us again, Dan, some of the, 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 the URLs that you mentioned earlier, where people can then kind of tap into one, have a look at uh, uh, the system or, or make an application to participate in learning how to use this system and apply it in their business. And you also mentioned some of the other free um, opportunities there, like the, the, the BizHack Live. Can you re repeat those uh, for us? Absolutely. So first and foremost, go to bizhack.com. That's our website. That's where you'll find all the information about our YouTube channel, the BizHack Live series. If you want to specifically look at our upcoming events on BizHack Live, it's bizhack.live. And if you're interested in applying for the BizHack lead building system, if you go to bizhack.com and you click on new course starting soon, you'll see there the application link. We do uh, restrict it to application only. And we vet every single person who applies to make sure, obviously, that the program is a fit for them, but also, frankly, that they're a fit for the program. We do have a no a-holes rule. So we want to make sure that we're cultivating an amazing community of entrepreneurs. And we do sometimes, if you will, reject uh, folks who we don't think will be additive to the, the, uh, the community we're looking to build. As Ricardo said, we've had more than 700 businesses go through the program. We have a very robust set of community um, offers and, and workshops and mastermind groups. And those uh, are really only available to folks who've gone through our five-week program. The re that's kind of the entry point to the larger experience. And the reason we do that is we want everybody to be fluent in the lead building system. Because once you have that system and that knowledge, it's much more productive in terms of how to implement it and to refine it to the specific needs of your business. Awesome, man. That's so, that's so amazing. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, go off, I'm going to go off the question script for a minute and, and ask you, what book are you reading? Uh, what, what book are you reading? Uh, what clubhouse, uh, you know, room are you in? What, uh, what kind of podcasts are you listening? So those, if you could just hit those three things, um, before we jump off. Sure. Well, um, there's a, you know, I'm implementing the, uh, a system for running my own business into my business. Uh, and it's called the entrepreneurial operating system. It's laid out in this book called traction, but there's a follow-up to this book called get a grip. And I actually started a book club with my staff on get a grip. Um, and so that's kind of a, it's like a little fable about implementing EOS inside entrepreneurial operating system inside of a business. Um, I truly believe that just as the BizHack lead building system is the way to uh, market a business, the EOS system is a great way to run a business. Um, so that's the book. Uh, in terms of the clubhouse, whenever uh, Mark Andreessen, uh, the venture capitalist is hosting a conversation, I join that. Um, but I've been pretty promiscuous just kind of flitting around different rooms yeah. to see what's out there and learn it. In fact, this coming Wednesday, uh, we're hosting a conversation on Clubhouse and small business, the small business use case, how small businesses can use Clubhouse for lead generation. Uh, I'm very excited to host Dennis Yu of Blitz Metrics, and we're going to post that uh, on YouTube after, after the fact. And then finally, in terms of podcasts that I'm listening to, um, there, there are a lot, but one of the ones that, um, I particularly love is, uh, Reed Hoffman's podcast, which is, um, Reed Hoffman was one of the founders, uh, he's a partner at Greylock and one of the founders of LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, and he has a podcast 
uh, that I love, which talks about the process of building and scaling up uh, from the perspective of Silicon Valley. Masters of scale, right? Masters of scale. Sorry, exactly. Masters of scale. So, uh, you know, I love that podcast and I listen to it religiously. You know, I find an, another way to think about what I've been doing, the lead building system, is I'm applying the practice, the best practices of the biggest and most successful companies in the world to the rest of us. I don't think there are enough people who are really thinking about how can what Facebook and Microsoft and uh, Google pioneered, how can that be applied at the scale of a $500,000 a year revenue business? Yeah. And I'll give you specific examples. You know, Facebook advertising is an incredible innovation. With $50 budget, you can achieve incredible results. We see this every semester, right? Uh, another great example is the landing page that was invented by Microsoft, right, to sell their software. And now it's become a consistent best practice. Google really revolutionized behavioral advertising through its search engine optimization and through search and search advertising, PPC. So yeah. we are taking these, you know, fundamental insights from the largest and most successful companies in the world. And then we're bringing them down to the micro level, to the small business level to the level of folks where a lot of minority and women owned businesses live so that we can change their lives. So that's really what we're trying to do is we're not trying to create the next Amazon. We're trying to help that mom and pop, that family owned business, that storefront that's really struggling survive and thrive in this new environment. Awesome, man. Awesome. That book, by the way, Traction, uh, can you just uh, uh, mention the author of that book? Just so yeah. Okay. So the, the creator of the traction system is Gino Wickham, W-I-C-K-M-A-N, Wickman. All right. Awesome. Hey, man, it was so awesome and so great to have you. Um, this is not the last time, so we got to uh, we gotta have you back at some time to talk more about the system. I know you're always kind of um, optimizing things, so we'd love to hear from you in the future. Thank you Absolutely. So for joining us. And, you know, I'd be happy to come back and really kind of lay out the system in some detail. Um, I know that's a little bit more than what we can do today. But, you know, if there's interest from your listeners, I'm happy to come back and, and really share what the system is and how it works and talk it through so that they can kind of real picture of it. Awesome. Awesome. All right, my friend. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, definitely see you on the other side in other podcasts. So, Thank you, Dan, for your time today. We really appreciate you, brother. Yeah, congratulations, Ricardo. This is a great initiative. That was Dan Gretsch, the founder and creator of uh, BizAc Academy and uh, the lead uh, building system uh, for BizHack. Uh, folks, that was an amazing conversation. I really hope you had some takeaways and you enjoyed listening to that. Most uh, importantly, Check out some of the tools, check out some of the space, the things that he referred and mentioned in the uh, in, 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 on the show um, and tell us what you think about it. Don't forget that we are finding these systems and tools for you to help you to rule your growth. If you're not in control of your growth, somebody else is going to be. And so you don't want that. So until next time, find the tool to rule your growth.